Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to some more World of Warcraft TPC Classic. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on here. Actually, I have a pretty good idea what's going on and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Same picture again. Thousand Needles. They really like their picture of Thousand Needles. I, I gotta say. <laughs> Would be more funny if it was a picture of someone uh, from the opposite side, like uh, the king, the the Alliance king, or whatever uh, human king, right? That would be really funny. <laughs> Never noticed this before. It's actually quite nice. So, uh, who threw these? Well, this guy, McKinley, of course, the Sea Wolf, and that is the guy we are gonna talk to. You need something? Ahoy, Relum. Have you yet found Mori's key? We did. You found it. Thanks a million, Relum. You've been a big help to me. Here you go. You earned this. Oh, uh, can't really use it, but that's all good. I'll take it off your hand, that's for sure. All right, do we have any quests we need to pick up here? Uh, Sansi's Mixer and Full Stout. What was that? I don't recall that mission. Did we not take it last time we were here, or what happened here? I don't know. Also got that 50 quest. I guess we could pick that up. We don't have a whole lot in our tracker. Let's pick it Hi, up then. How are you? We was splicing the main brace something fierce off of the Overlook Cliffs. Our hinterlands just oh. in the distance. Thought okay. the seas was going to swallow us whole. Our Slim knows all about liquid courage. Captain had a cradle poop hell of her bells port be commandeered from a privateer enchanter route to Stormwind. So when that storm off of hinterlands hit, I busted okay. into the grog. Big wave hit and tossed them bottles overboard. Cap is going to give me a taste of the cat if you don't help me get them back though. So, this is a quest leading into Hinterlands. Alright. Uh, at least I suppose so. And then we also have this one, which I don't remember. I figured out how to use Zanzel's mixture with stout to make a powerful went, yeah. libation. Okay. A full stout. I think it'll be just what Gravel needs, but try it out and let me know how it works. And Relim, don't keep this stuff too long without using it. Zanzel's mixture has a weird effect on the stout's yeast, kicking it into high gear. So it won't stay fresh forever. All right, yeah, we'll pick that up now. We got two hours to do it. Okay. Can I, can I like, move this? No, it's it's just there. It's... <laughs> well, guys, I, I think um, I, my plans was actually to go to... Um, what's it called up here? Swarm of Sorrows. But since we got this quest on a tracker, and we do also have another quest going to... Uh, shimmering flats. I think we are likely gonna go in that direction. You see, we got a lot of quests down here that we could turn in. I don't really want to go to Teneris and quest down here yet. I think I think we might want to go somewhere else first. Maybe Feralis. They got a bit more low quest over here. So instead of Swamp of Sorrows, I guess we're gonna change direction and take the boat. And then again, should we deliver this one? Nah, it's a it's a forty six. We can we can do that later uh, in the future when we go to Swamp of Sorrows again. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go and take the boat. Yeah, easy peasy. Take the boat, get to uh, what is it called um, the Shimmering Flats. Deliver this quest. Get back to Tanares. Deliver a few quests there. Mm. And then probably we're gonna go to Feralis. For the first time. I think we're gonna go to Feralis. But yeah. Quite a bit of traveling. Quite a bit of traveling. I'm gonna cut it. I, I, I'm gonna cut all the boring pieces of bits here for you. Because that is gonna be a lot of travel. So uh, yeah. See you when we are probably in the Shimmering Flats. Maybe in San Aris. Uh, well, you'll know in a second. Ah, yes. Here we are back again at the Shimmering Flats. And you know what, guys? I didn't even need to take the boat. Because I forgot that I had the Hearthstone to uh, this place. Free wind post, that is. So it didn't actually take that long to get here. Um, I don't know. Four minutes? Something like that, right? Anyway, we are going to deliver this quest because I want to get rid of this quest timer. That's uh, that's really annoying. That is really, really annoying. Let's talk to Cravel here. Cold hey there. Hello, Raylam. Was Fizzlebub able to help us? Oh yeah, he was. Wonderful. Fizzlebub came through. I'll remember that next time I see him. And thank you, right. Raylam. You're doing a great job. And we both stand to make a lot of money from this. Good thing. Good. Did he have another quest? It seems get the go get the gnome strong, get the goblin strong. 
That's some, that two new quests. Cool. Let's pick those up. When he's done with his talk here. What is he saying? Let's just have a small taste. Wait. What am I thinking? We have a job to do with this stuff. Yeah, we do. Attention. Come a little closer. We have... We need to try the full stout on one of the pit crews. If you want to try it on the goblins, then here, take the stout and give it to the goblin pit boss. <laughs> and don't wait too long. This stout will go bad eventually. Yeah, 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 yeah okay. And the other one? No? Oh, okay, now <laughs> we got another timer. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> We're gonna deliver that one, I guess. Uh, where is that delivered? Here? Goblin pit boss? Yes. Hey, how you what doing? What are you looking at? Y you. What do we have here? Booze, eh? Yeah. Well, I don't mind if we have just a little. Mm hmm Have a good one. <laughs> Porter's booze. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess we're gonna deliver this quest right here. That's an entirely different How quest. How am I supposed to show my face around the track without a little extra kick to get me going? It's a travesty, I tell you. Okay. Just take a look at this beauty. Fifteen pounds of solid C4 EM power. Once I get this strapped onto the side of my racer, I'll be around the track so fast I'll beat the gnomes twice. Fair enough. But wait, what's this? Shreve left the safety on. That will limit the amount of power I can draw from the booster at any time. I told him I wanted it off. This is no good. You have to take this to the gadgets and gizmorium in the Tanneries Desert and have All Shreve right. remove this. That's perfect. We're going in that direction after whatever is going on here. <laughs> uh, so let's uh, report back to Fizzlebob here and see. So I guess we only did one of those quests. You have to decide which one. And I'm, well, that full I went worked great. I placed a bet on the next trace, and yeah. let's hope the crew you got drunk did a number on your car. <laughs> There's only one more task for you. Take this note back to Crank Fizzlebub in Booty Bay. Okay. You'll want to know of the successful test, mm -hmm. and hopefully we can get more of that full stout for future races. All right, cool. That was. Get her back. I yeah. That I think this was a pretty good storyline. Um, all considered, if there is one thing that World of Warcraft is missing, is it a more Many many of the storylines are just small storylines that stretch like maybe if you're really lucky ten quests, but that's it in one area. There is not a main storyline you're following, and I kind of I kind of I kind of miss that, you know. I kind of miss that. I mean, a more where you're seeing the same. Uh, but yeah, World of Warcraft and MMOs in general are not that type of thing, typically. But there could be just a little bit more of it where. Where you feel like you're a little bit, uh, uh, in this case, you feel like you're a big, you're, you're in a big, big world. Like that, that's that's the case because no one have heard of anyone that lives in, I don't know, let's say Arachi Highlands. Someone here have never heard of anyone in Arachi Highlands. Therefore, there is not really a, um, a storyline that connects it really well. You can just go from Arachi Highlands and over here, and you feel like you're in a completely different part of the world, which you are. Which you are. But I feel like uh, all these small quests... You know what would be, be better? If there were more of these small quest lines that had a little bit better better um, story to them. Where it's just not, you know, go out and kill ten of these wolves because I need their meat so I can survive. Then, then you need another nine quests after that to reason that action. If you know what I mean? I feel like that's missing a little bit in World of Warcraft. A, a little bit more reasoning and a little bit of a better storyline overall. Um, and and I think I think it works in World of Warcraft. I just feel like they should have done, they should have digged a little bit more into it. With the racetrack here, that worked. That worked because there was like an an end to the story, right? That was right. I won that bet against the other team, or I betted against them because we got them drunk. So there was like an int storyline, but that's not the case every single time. Uh, Tranrek, I don't know which one it is. Some people wonder what we're doing out here in the desert. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if I told you, then you'd stay and try to make our profits. Oh, of course I would. Hello. Oh, you spoke to my cousin Grace. How is he? I hope Booty Bay is treating him well. Uh. Spare of shells, you say? Well, let me tell you a story. Okay. Some people wonder what we're doing out here in the desert. Well, if um, I told you, then you'd stay and try to make our profits. Yeah. <laughs> we're not going to pick any of those quests up. One of them is uh, 45 plus. Probably for 
What is it called? Hover. Sulfur Act. No, I don't want to do that. And the other one is a 50 quest. I guess I could pick that one up, but... I don't really want to do any questing here just yet. I just want to deliver these and then move on, probably. As I'm sure you know, the Gizmorium can service all of your tinkering needs. How can I help you? Well, we got this uh, Sephorium booster from uh, the Only Shimmering would take a look at this and say that I'd somehow put some sort of safety lock on it. Yeah. This booster is almost completely Sephorium explosives. I already modified it so that more of its payload would be delivered upon use. But Razorik is never content unless he goes to 11. <laughs> Probably not. There, I did what Razorik wanted. Just tell him to be careful when he sets oh, this okay. off. If he makes the slightest mistake, he won't be moving forward. He'll just be a burnt spot on the track. Would be a shame, too, if that happened. Who knows if our 19th driver would be any good. Uh, be good. I don't know, but we will definitely go back to the Shimmering Flats uh, with that one. So yeah, we got, we got plenty of quest here that we could do but I feel like we can definitely come back in a couple of levels when we have done another place oh, we actually do need to go over here as well to deliver one Eh, you know what let's uh, let's run over there why not is there like a fly point over there no uh, if we're going all the way over there you know what I, I could do that in the future I think we're just running back to the shimmering flats because I don't want to pick up the quest yet, so why would I run over there, right? I guess you could say the same thing about running down here, but at least we got a quest going back up into the uh, Shimmering Flats again. And uh, after we have delivered this quest up here, we are running for a very long time, all the way through Th Thousand Needles and into Pharrellis. At least that is my plan. Wow, I'm stuck on something. I kind of want to get in here. I've never really done a lot of questing in here, so I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, I have, of course, been through it before, but, you know, it's it's a very long time ago on Horde side. And I just don't remember the quests. Maybe one or two I remember right now on top of my head, but other than that, not really. So I'm kind of excited to get in there. Alright, let's get back to uh, the camp up here. Oh, well, the racetrack, that is. Alrighty, back at the racetrack, and it seems like there are a race going on. Pretty cool. Daisy, the race... Starter girl? <laughs> right on, right on. Alright, here we go. Time is money, Can you believe Posit put a bucket of sand on the race, sir? How am I supposed to hit my maximum speed with a bucket of sand under the seat? This guy's crazy. Now that's more like it. I wish I could see the look on the gnome's eyes when they see me set this baby off. Mm -hmm. Too bad I'll be too busy pulling off a new course record. Alrighty then. Well, we do have an upgrade here. That's very nice. We'll take that. Uh, let's see. Pair of hands. 8 Aggie, 9 stamina. Better than 7 strength and 8 Aggie. Yeah, I would agree on that one as well. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, now, back to back to running to uh, Pharrellis. Uh, that's gonna take a while, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, see you. See you in a second. Alright, guys. We are saying goodbye to... Yeah, Thousand Needles. And hello to a new jungle. Well, forest at least. So, uh, how, how far is it actually? Oh, it's quite far off. I thought it was just on the other side. No, we still got some uh, running to do here. In, into the... What was it called? Camp what? Camp Mojatsi? Camp Mojatsi? Yeah. Alright then. Wonder if we can find a new pet in this area as well. Who knows? I have... I don't know. I don't... I, I of course know this area and I've been here many times, but... You know, I don't... Uh, oh, look at that. Bite rank 6. Dash rank 2. Furious Hull rank 3. That sounds pretty decent. That sounds pretty decent, to be honest. Um, it's a bit low level. Maybe we can found, find find uh, someone in another spot here. But you know what? I'm not against getting a wolf. I, I don't mind getting a wolf. I really don't. And that sound he got three different abilities straight off the bat. That's pretty cool. I would actually like to get a wolf now. That might be a thing. That might be a thing, but I'm kind of looking for something that is a, maybe a little bit higher than a level 40. I don't know where, maybe up here is higher level, but I'm not even sure if there are any wolves in that area. There might only be wolves over here. We don't know. Well, I don't know. Could be. Oh, we got our first uh, guard. Can Mojachi brave? Cool. Do we have any quests to come? No, we didn't. We are just going to pick up quite a lot of quests here, I guess. Quite a lot. What is going on here? 
Oh, okay. Hello. Greetings. The effects of the Gorjani Yoga tribe can hardly go unnoticed in this area. Look around, Raylan. Their very presence scars this land. We must push them back before they expand even further into Feralas. Okay. Follow the river north, and you will find their outpost. Decrease their numbers, Raylan. We must show them that their kind is not wanted here. Yeah, that's... Uh, I kind of agree on that. And it seems to be a pretty low level quest. 43. Uh, you, yeah, you have one. That's level 50 quests. Uh, you know what? Let's pick them up. Listen to... That Dano Hadebalon is the queen of the North Spring Harpies that reside in the ruins to the west. She is pure evil. I have heard that her heart is one of crystal. She is void of any emotion aside from the hate she feels towards all others. You must face Adana and bring me back her dark heart. I have heard of a horn that harpies carry, blowing it by the hate to launch stones, in the northern part of the ruins, will summon the queen. Imagine her surprise when it is not her kin calling her, but her death. Mm-hmm. And the other one? Listen. In my day, I was a seasoned hunter. There wasn't any creature around that I feared. Until. I was out in this forest, sharpening my blade after a tough battle, when I was ambushed. Harpies surrounded me, and I barely managed to drag myself to safety. Even now, I can still hear their cries echoing. I was never the same yeah. after that. But the hate <laughs> boils inside of me, I must get even, after all these years. The North Spring Harpies can be found to the west of here. Relum, get my revenge. Oh, I will. I love killing some harpies. Alright, food and drink. Uh, I'm actually... I need to check out if she got some... Nope, no meat. Really hard to find meat. Oh, hello, Wind Rider Master. I'll take that fly point. 43. Nice. I just arrived here in Feralas, and I've heard that the Gorjaniogas that inhabit the wilds here have some interesting minerals. Okay. Who knows what they are up to, but they sure are protective of that stuff. They don't leave it just lying around. No, they bury it to protect folks like me from getting their hands on it. If you'd be willing, I'll give you my shovel. Go to the Gorjani outpost north of here and dig me up some Gorjani cobalt. Look cool. for the blue glow, then start digging. Yeah, we'll absolutely go digging for you. Uh, quest over here, that's uh, what? Uh, what now? Uh, 45 and a 51. Well, we're not going to go to the Songan Temple. But we are gonna take that stranger request. In Near Fireblade in Orgrimmer has what I need to get started here. He has mixed up a concoction that I need for my... Well, you'll see. Off with you now, to oh. Orgrimmer. Here, take this with you. It's a shrunken head that I promised Nero in exchange for the herbs. Right. It's the head of some poor dwarf I've entered across in the <laughs> forest. I'm sure Nero will be pleased. You'll find Nero in the Cleft of Shadow. Alright, yeah. we can deliver that in the future. 3000 XP or 2700 or whatever it was. And okay, what is in here? A 46 quest? What's it called? I can't see what. The mark of quality, okay. Uh, I have well, just the thing I take you. pride in my leather work, and I feel it shows quality should never be compromised. Anyone who says that quality doesn't matter would also have you believe that the earth does not keep secrets. In my mm. latest pursuit of high-quality materials, I have discovered thick yeti hides. Yet is unnative to feralers, often found west of here in feral Scarvale. I'll give you a choice of one of my leather goods for a stack of ten. If that is agreeable to you, then we are set. Yeah, sure. Seems pretty good. Another upgrade on on a pair of hands. Or boots. Nice. Love it. Uh, no more quest in here. Wait, hold on. Trade supplies, leather was getting... No, no, not what I was looking for. One more quest over here. 42 quest. We must ensure the survival of this camp at all costs, Hunter. Our enemies must not be given any quarter, for they would surely give us none were we to need it. Mm-hmm. Then must. They are more than a nuisance. <laughs> okay. They are a constant threat to the existence of this very camp. It is irrelevant whether they are indigenous to Feralas or not. If we do not strengthen our resolve against them, we will find ourselves driven out of the entire region. The null attacks against the camp have become more fevered as of late. We need your aid in thinning their numbers. Bring to me ten of their manies, and I will reward you handsomely for your effort. Go. Sounds good to me to kill some gnoles. What is this quest up here? A new cloak something. Let's get up there. Mound up. Oh, there we go. Got quite a few quests already. I guess this is the harpies. What is this? Yeti. Uh, brutes. 
That's the gnome main. And then we got a couple of quests up there as well. More ogres. Cool. Now let's see what the last one over here is. I missed it before. Alchemy herbalist. Okay. Also looking for a uh, stable. Druid trainer. Not gonna be helpful for us. Well met, hunter. I've traveled with my companions down to the Ferrellas on a mission for our Orgrimma masters. My life mate Corin finds great pleasure in new clothing, so I aim to make her a new cloak adorned with the gossamer wings of fairy dragons. Would you be able to help me? Sprite starters with gorgeous wings I want are west of Camp Magic. Oh, yeah, uh, so that's some kind of beast that we have to kill. Cool. Alright, I think that's, uh, that's about it. Should we go kill Gnolls first, or maybe these? Nah. Kinda wanna go up and kill either the Gnolls. Gnolls is a 42 quest. We're gonna go with the lowest first and go for the Gnolls. Feel like that's a good idea. So that's gonna be out west of the city and then south. Alright. So, I don't think we have, you know... I mean, I could make an hour episode, but... We'll probably just do one quest here. Maybe, maybe two. We'll see how far we get, but not a whole lot of... Uh, not a whole lot of, uh, you know, fighting here. It depends. Depends on how fast it's gonna take to get through one or two quests. So, uh, what are we looking at here? Yeah, I did. I, I still haven't found any place to, to buy any meat. Interestingly enough. Maybe I didn't look good or uh, well enough. Is there any way to get down there without just uh, exi actually jumping off the edge here? Okay, there we go. It seems to be... Moving down toward the water here, yeah. Gnoll, 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 where are you? You are a Gnoll, we will kill you. Alright. Let's get Scorpio out, let's give him a little bit to eat. Go in, they are 41, quite low. This should be easy. Yeah, of course they are 41, because we are on a 42 quest. So that should be a pretty easy one to do. In terms of killing them. Maybe not. It, it might not be as easy to uh, get what we need from them. Oh, okay. Well, it's not a 100% drop chance, that is, so... Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how long it's gonna take us. Ah, well, that was, a, that was a bit of running for me. That was a, quite, quite a, a journey. A lot of quests picking up, a lot of quests turning in. That's all good. Need to do it sometimes. That's one. Good. Get out of here. Oh, he's still only content. Hmm. Well, let's give him some more to eat then. But I gotta say, all this green, this forest looks absolutely brilliant. It really does. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like the questing here, but the, the zone itself is... Uh, the sounds are pretty good. The... Music is maybe not the best. I don't know yet. I have to determine that later on, but... The ambience are pretty magical, right? I think that's the word. Not very... Not very high sounds. You know, sometimes you, you have a zone where, where the ambience are really, really loud. That's not this one. Oh, so we got a camp here of things. Well, uh, you know what, just go in. I don't care. We got mana, we got... You know, we are... We have... Yeah, you know, the levels on them as well. I pull him. Yeah, okay. Oh, he's a ranged one. He got a gun, actually. Trapper. Yeah, of course. He's a trapper. And he need a gun. Well, why would you need a gun if you're a trapper, actually? If you're a hunter, you need a gun. What, a trapper? Setting up traps? Why would you need a gun? Well, who would anyone need a gun? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, well. You didn't you didn't get far with that uh, idea, did you? <laughs> That's four, okay, it didn't it's not gonna take too long. We also got on the other side of this uh ridge over here, we seem to have another quest. We might do that as well in this episode. We'll see, we'll see. We will see how far we get. Get that Trevor. Ooh. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is probably gnolls down here as well. Yeah. Okay. Right on, right on. Mystic. Uh, it might be a healer. Yeah, I would think so. Maybe totems? Nothing so far. Hmm. We might we might we might kill them too fast for them to get to the healing or totems or whatever. Still only got sense. Really? I'll give him some more to eat after this one. He's a hungry boy. I actually haven't checked uh, checked up on him for. Uh, there we go. Uh, on his beast training, 27. I think he should be able to get greater stamina then. Yep. There we go. Bit more health, and then we just need another. 23 points before we can do natural armor. Yep, 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 yep. But yeah, we might end up getting a new pet before that. We'll see. I I always say that and, you know, but you know that wolf that wolf did look kind of tasty, but it's way too low level. Uh but having three abilities off right right away, that that's that's quite nice. And I think he can also get bites. I think he could probably uh, try and bite. That's a that's an alpha. Okay, that's interesting. He's a bit higher level than the rest of them. Hmm. They do quite a bit of damage here. Let's go take the reaver out. Okay. I'm not too worried yet. It, it seems like it was actually the lightnings that he did, the mystic, that did all the damage. Because now we don't really lose too much health on uh, Scorpion, so... I think that's the first time he actually is under 50% now, so yeah. Not, not much of a worry, is it? There we go. Good night, sir. Well, he's not a sir, he's just a gnoll. Uh, we can get a little bit of healing here, and let's go in. Give him just a few moments, because we are healing, so we are generating threats. Oh, we got plenty of them here. And there is no one uh, nearby me. I have, I actually haven't seen a whole lot while we were running here or while we were traveling. Not a whole lot of people online today, maybe. At least not in this area. Okay, got a healing. But he died before he uh, got there because I used an arcane shot. We actually do have a gun in here that is just as good now. This is the first gun I've seen that is just as good as the other one. Except from this one having agility and stamina and this one having spirit and stamina. So, it, but it just the same amount of damage. So we might soon enough find a new weapon as well uh, in, in the near future here. Would be nice. Oh, there we go. 10 out of 10. There we go. I think I think we can also do the other quest here. I think we got time. I think we got time. 
I mean, I always got time to do it. it it's just how long do I want to make the episodes? And more than not, I want to keep them on the low side. 30, 40 minutes, you know? Oh, that's a 43, but he only have uh, one... F he only have Furious Hull. So these over here are actually way better to catch because they got more uh, abilities for us to get. And then we can just level them up the hard way. Oh, it's... Uh, okay. Fairies we need to kill. Huh. Uh, not fairies, but... Uh, dragon Beast? Uh, is that the name? I mean, they are Dragon Kin, but what is it? Uh, what are they called? Fairy... Uh, what is the name? What is the name? I've played so many times with it in uh, Dota, in Walker 3. I just don't remember its name. Oh, we can skin them. Okay. Cool. Spirit. Spirit. Yeah, I don't remember. Guess we don't need these Grim Totem Naturalists. But we are gonna get them anyway. Mana burn? Okay. Well, that's not very nice. I mean, we don't have a whole lot of mana, so I guess it didn't really matter too much. Uh, I guess these are druids because they are not beasts. Or are they beasts? Yeah, they are actually beasts. Okay. I think we might need a bit of mana here. Ah, uh, then again, I think we're good. As um, long as we just kill one at a time. Do a bit of outer shots. Yeah, because they're gonna take it anyway, so... Uh, might as well not have any mana then. It's not too much of a problem here in this area, it seems gonna be hard to... Uh, these are not even aggressive towards us. It's only um, the bears, actually. So it should really not be... Shouldn't be a problem, not having mana. Just gonna take a little bit longer to kill them, but, you know. comes. Nope. Denied. Hmm. I think there is a quest up here. I, I, I remember being in this part up here and killing these, so I think there is a quest for them. Maybe it's a follow-up. Perfect yeti hide. Okay. Repeatable quest. Interesting. Uh, let's see, that's seven. Good, good, good. Uh, we might get that there. Well, they are only 41, so they are actually quite easy to deal with. Well, this is a 45 quest. Ah. Oh. There we go. Uh... Do I pull them if I go over here? Maybe, maybe not. Got away with it. But yeah, if we uh, if we go back, I, di I didn't see a stables, uh, a pet stables uh, back in town, but. If there is one, I kind of want to go back and get that uh, wolf. That was just a level 41 wolf. Um, which means we would be... If we are going to level him up, uh, it, it would take quite a long time. I mean, he will get the levels fast enough, but the points are going to take a massive amount of time. A massive amount of time. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to get a wolf, actually. I do. I do, really. Well, that might be next episode. I'm not sure. Oh, there is one. Go 
get him, Scorpy. It might be one of your last mobs to kill. <laughs> but yeah, that means that it's gonna be a little bit harder doing the quest if we have a low level pet and also without all the points and all the health and all the armor and resistance that Scorpy right now have. But I'm okay sacrificing a bit of, you know, efficiency. I am completely fine with that. I mean, I could probably go to somewhere else in the world and we could find a wolf with the same kind of abilities that is a higher level. Sure, but we are here now and I don't go look on the internet for a wolf that is better. Oh, well, there we go. 46 for uh, Scorpy. Oh, we have all 10. Nice. Let's uh, head back into town. We're so close to it anyway, and I think we might want to go for that wolf in the next episode. So, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. But let's get back to town here and see if we can uh, get some follow-ups, maybe? Something? I don't know. Oh, it's right here, actually. Just outside of town. Where exactly is this? Oh, just here. So, yeah, it's 41, so it's quite low, but it got the bite rank 6. Got the dash rank too, which is also nice for because it will get to the mobs faster. It's more for PvP and Furious Howl rank three, and I think we can also give it claw. Maybe I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure about that, but um, well, it not, it's nice to know that they are just out here, very very close by. But yeah, 41. That's gonna it's gonna be a problem for the first couple of episodes in terms of. Uh, Getting it high enough in levels so it just doesn't die too easily. We need to heal it quite a bit. But I don't even know if there is a pet uh, stables in here. Let's uh, see. Stable master. Right there. Cool. Should we should we do it in this episode, maybe? You know what? Let's uh, let's turn in the quest and then uh, go look for that. Uh, that yeah, let's, let's just do it in this episode, shall we? We must ensure the survival of this camp at all costs, Hunter. Yeah. We drive them back, and yet they still attack. Someone or something must be driving them into a frenzy. Oh, you have returned, eh, Rella? Do you have the main I require for the bounty to be met? Yeah, we got the canole main. This is proof of a good start, Rella. Your skills as a soldier are to be commended. You are not the only one I ask that task of. Many before you have fought them, and in times past, our efforts have kept them at bay. Recently though, their attempts to push northward into our area of influence have increased dramatically. Their attacks have also become more savage. Almost as if they were desperate. I have a plan though, Relim, that might settle things once and for all against them. Why did he say Relim right here? That sounded a little bit odd. Huh. Well, whatever. Yeah, the there is a follow-up. The various leaders of the Nils, Alphas as they call themselves, to be taken down within rapid succession. Okay. If we're able to execute this sort of swift and precise devastation against them, it would cause chaos in their ranks. Perhaps it would also drive a message through their thick flea bitten heads that we can and will destroy them. I want you to be the messenger of my will. Eliminate five of their alphas within one hour for this to work realm. Ah. Or you'll remain at this impasse. Ah, uh, you guys. I don't want to do that right now. This, I, these t I, I hate timed events. I really do. Because I, I want to do it in my kind of way. And yeah. But yeah, of course, we, we will come back to it, but I'm just gonna I'm just not gonna do it right now. We'll probably do that in the next episode. Okay, can't get that way up. Okay, let's see here. Blood and the sprite starters can be dangerous critters when provoked. Be careful when dealing with them, Hunter. And be even more careful of any night elves in the area. Mm -hmm. The pestering fools tend to hold up in the forests also. When you've gotten enough of the wings, let me know. I'll be <laughs> wonderful, Hunter. These will do nicely. There are enough here to make a cloak for Corin, and possibly even more. Thank you. I hope the trip wasn't too dangerous. Not really. The area of Ferrellas is not known for being forgiving, but you've obviously done well enough. Thank you again, Hunter. Alrighty. What? You came across Torin in the area? Yep. You're joking. What nope. did they look like? The Grim Totem Clan. You found some of them. Belgrom, one of our masters, has an interest in their kind. He's even put a bounty on them. You have to go back, Hunter. Go back and bring me their horns. Piles of them if you can. The Grim Totem are not to be trifled with or underestimated. Go back and slay them, let the rivers in Ferals run red with their dark blood. 
All right, cool. So yeah, two follow-ups, but the one of them we're gonna um, wait for until next episode. I mean, both of them we're gonna wait with until next episode. Because right now I wanna stable this pit and go catch another one. Again, I'm a little bit worried about our food supply here. I mean, we got these wild hawk shang that we can give him, so it should be okay. Zug, zug. Here. Oh, oh, turtle. Oh, Raffy. Oh, uh, should I buy? <laughs> nah, I sh I, you know what? It's. I'm sorry, Raffy. You, you're gonna go. You're gonna go, mate. I'm gonna abandon him. I'm sorry. You, you, you were a pretty good pet, not gonna lie. But it's time for you to go. Sorry, mate. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get right out of town here and see if we can find... Where is it? Tame beast right here. I don't have it on my boss, I don't think so. I need it in the spell book. You don't need this too often, so I don't really want it out on the bars. There was one right here, was there? There it is. 41, 40. Uh, we're gonna pick up the 41, I guess. If we can get around this 41. Alright. Let's see if we can tame him. Should be doable. Right? A gray or white? I think it's a gray wolf. Long tooth runner. I didn't. E I didn't even put on uh, aspect of the monkey or whatever it is. There we go. We have a new pet. Let's feed him. He's uh, he's gonna need it. Unhappy, losing loyalty. Yeah. I'm just gonna go back to town, feed him a couple of times, and then we're probably gonna end the episode, right, guys? I mean, that was uh, that was a decent one. A couple of quests here in Feralis, lots of traveling. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So, let's see. He got Claw. Unavailable to this pet. Okay, so he can use Claw, that, which makes sense. He got Growl, of course. You can learn that. Uh... I don't think he can do poison, and he already have the bites. What the... Uh, where is it? So he got this... So yeah, he do have four abilities now, actually. So he got bite. A better bite than the one we had before, because it's a rank four. Before we only had rank three. Wh which does quite a lot of damage, actually. Um, then he has this. Increased movement speed by 60% for fi 15 seconds. 30 seconds cooldown. He can do that all the time. Very, very often. That's cool. How much does it uh, cost? Nothing. It an... doesn't cost anything. Cool. This one also doesn't cost anything. Party members within 15 yards of the wall receive an extra 28 to 34 damage to their next physical attack damage. Is... Is, uh, is our auto shot physical? I don't think so. But I guess he himself will also get it. I think it's good, and then of course growl. So he cannot get uh, he cannot get claw, which is fine. But it's definitely giving us something else. The poison, I mean, it's 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 okay, but it's not, it, I think bite is probably better. To be honest, I think bite is just a whole lot better. Anyway, guys, I think I am uh, gonna end it here. Do a bit of uh, <laughs> you know letting him eat a bit, and then we're gonna next episode gonna go out and. Uh, Mainly help him to get to, you know, higher levels and um, do a bit of killing for him. Because he needs a lot of training points. I mean, a lot. Just just remember how many training points you need to get to the greater stamina. Hundred. Hundred. <laughs> Natural armor. Seventy-five. That's insane. And that's, that's what we're going to go for first. The resistance and avoidance and all that. Not worth it compared to the stamina. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you around next time.